Good morning and welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick, aka The Liming, and welcome to another episode of Things I've Learnt on YouTube. So today's project, a really, really simple one. We're just going to um, make some shelves for the airing cupboard. Alex has been nagging me for quite a while now to uh, get on and put some shelves up for us so we can get the, the sheets, the towels, things like that that need to be in the airing cupboard out of the back bedroom and the storage cupboards um, and get them back into the airing cupboard to create some space for us. So that's the project. I've got a boatload of two by fours in the garage, but I thought you need something a bit more, a bit more refined, maybe not quite so big and bulky. So I'm just gonna head over to the hardware store, I'm gonna head over to the DIY store, uh, see what we can pick up, see if we can pick up some wood uh, and we'll go from there. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you like the video. And as ever, leave any comments you like down below. today really really simple so what we have to do is airing cupboard get some storage in the top of that so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna get measured up I'm gonna get down and put some shelves in really straightforward we're gonna put brace across one side of the airing cupboard so we'll put a brace right in here I'm gonna lay some uh, some pieces of wood right across full span and we're gonna just try and avoid obviously that tank but yes that's the plan that's what we're going to do really straightforward really simple build today should take a little bit of time maybe half an hour for 12 minutes we'll get this one whipped out uh, the directive from uh, she who must be obeyed was as many shelves as you can fit so we'll start with one and we'll see if we squeeze the one on top but that's it guys let me get cracking we'll see what we can do Right, so what we've done is we've cut the pieces. We know what we've got, we've got the measurements right. What I'm gonna do is quickly just mock up on the table here uh, what the shelf's gonna look like. So again, not a big fan of measuring. I'm trying to work things out. So all I'm gonna do is very quickly mock it up and we'll see what it looks like. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our two by four. We're going to run the two by four across this way, which is what we'll make. There we go. The side piece. Obviously, we'll secure it in. Now I've got to take into consideration I've got to work around this. Okay, so uh, not a problem. We're obviously running our studs and our, our support pieces, our cross pieces. We'll run either side of that. It's not a problem at all. So what we will do is we're going to level this front to back. Which isn't actually that far off. So there is level. Now I've got no idea where the studs are. I'm uh, hoping that when the guys installed this piece, they put the nail into the stud. So what I do is I'm just going to transfer the marks down to where the studs are, drill some holes, I'm going to secure this at either end. Okay, that's my first job. Okay. 
Okay, so I've popped the holes through, so I'm just gonna transfer those to the wall. So I'm just gonna make sure this is level again. Even though I've got my marking lines, I know roughly where that is. I'm just gonna use a slightly smaller drill bit. And just pop that through. We're going to do exactly the same thing with the other side. Now, I want to make sure that it's level uh, across the front. I don't actually have a level long enough. I've got a level that's too long, or I've got a level that's too short. So what I'm going to do... So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually just going to clamp my level onto one of the cross members. And that way, I know roughly, roughly he says, I know exactly where level is, okay? And it will sit about there. Right, let's get everyone installed and secure. So, by attaching the front ones, I now can't really get comfortably to the back ones. So what I might do is quickly pop these off, start the back for it makes more sense, attach the very back one, and the spacing roughly works. There's a bit of a gap here. Uh, we could potentially try and move that one, fill that in a little bit, uh, just with this front one, space the front one out a little bit more, or give me another bit, or I could always, worst case, go cut another piece of this, we've got plenty of wood left. Um, but yeah, quick fix, shouldn't take too long. Now I've got plenty of space I can get in and I can fix the back ones properly. So let me use my spacer. Yeah, that's, that's as far forward as that one I can go. I'm probably not going to be able to screw this one down at this side, but you know what? I'm alright with that. So what I will do is just get in as much as I can. Oh, plumbers, you have. Oh, you must be like ninjas, I tell you, to be able to work in this sort of environment. We are done. 
So this was a really straightforward and simple project. Uh, as you can see, we've got a shelf. It's not terrible looking. It will do the job. It will make sure that all of the bed linens, things that are currently in the back bedroom, have a little home and a place to go. Uh, it was really simple, the whole thing. I started at 9.30, flight to the hardware store. It's now 11.35. Bearing in mind, I'm also setting up for every shot I'm filming. It took me a couple of hours to do this. Uh, really easy job, anyone can do this. Um, it's not, not a difficult job in any way, shape or form. So it's one of those things you just need to get on and get doing. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Things I've Learned on YouTube. Catch me again. Uh, we'll be doing some more projects. I promise it's not just shelves that we do in this channel. Uh, we do some more fun projects uh, over the next coming weeks. And uh, if you like the video, please drop me a huge like, drop me a comment, give me a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Guys, for now, I am Nick, AKA The Limey, and this has been Things I've Learned on YouTube. Thanks again. Get it, comma and a comma, gotta get it, get it, and it's a ticket talking monster for the biggest. It's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta...